Okay, this is this is actually a simple subject we're, we're going to talk about. What exactly does the Wing Chun guard hand look like? I mean, you see different people going. Uh, what, how they do that? Yep, yeah, how Danny do it? Yep, man, Wing Chun. All right, <laughs> he was doing something like this. You see some people sideways like this. Some people like this. What exactly does the guard hand look like in Wing Chun, and why do we do it the way we do it? And with that thought, let's just look at let's just look at the let's just look at the movie version. Because a lot of times in the version, let's say whatever Robert guard hand position is. Okay, he, let's say yeah, that's actually very friendly. But let's just say, look at this guard hand right now. Usually it's like one hand further extended up like this, and then you say, yeah, this is Wing Chun. Try to get through this. Think about this. Think about this for a second. If your hand is fully extended at this length, okay, even if it's like this, or at least somewhere in between this range, what can this hand do? It can't do anything, okay? So if my hand's like here, out here, and I'm trying to actually hit him, what can I possibly generate? Am I, am I one inch punching everybody? Oh, 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 one inch punch, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't one inch punch anybody. So having a guard hand this far off basically says this hand is totally useless. This is the only hand that can possibly do anything. Okay? As far as how should we be? Should we be square? Should we be turned? Well, okay. Think in if you're if you want if we're not you remember think in the terms of how we're dealing with things. When we're fighting here. And Wing Chun, okay, let's say just Wing Chun versus, uh, let's say he's Wing Chun also, okay? If we're fighting here, and once I turn at this angle, what, what's the concept behind that? Why do you want to turn at this angle? Basically, well, you know, the old, uh, back in the days when I took Taekwondo, you know, basically, if you're, if you're facing this way, you know, there's more of a target to hit. If you're facing this way, you basically don't expose this part unless it only expose this, this side towards you. So basically the same concept is involved as far as here, I'm, I'm turned sideways, blah, blah, blah. Look, if I want to close the gap on somebody, and if you look at Wing Chun overall, it's natural ability to charge in and to run somebody over. You're not, you can't do it half sideways. This you can do if you're sparring. If I want to run into him, I'm running into him square. Now why am I square? First of all, when I'm square here and I have my guard hand here, both my hands at this point whether I use the front hand or the rear hand, is capable of attacking. Okay? That makes sense? That means, if I'm here, if I want to punch him with this hand, if I want to punch him with this hand, I can. Because they're both here, right in front of me, protecting my center. And why do I have it at this area right here? Because it's, it's balanced out. I don't favor one side or another. If I bring my hands up here, protecting my hand here, sure, all of a sudden I'm protecting this area here. But what happens if he shoots down here? Very hard for you to go from one point to another because you're favoring a side. Just like, in, why, why do I keep such a natural neutral stance? Because at this point, I can make the most adjustment. If I end up leaning on one side, sure, I can lift up maybe my leg to kick, but then at this point, I'm limited as far as my overall motion. I want to be able to move in any direction that I want so I stand in the most neutral position possible. Okay? So, when my guard hand is here, notice, look, if I have to go up or down, up or down, I can do that evenly. I don't favor one side or another. As far as my center is controlled, look, here's my center guard here. Basically, I'm saying at this position, I make him come into my, tri my, my triangle area here. Whatever is outside this area here, I don't care. I really don't care. Remember, when a lot, a lot of times the way people interpret things is kind of incorrect. Like, let's say Robert throws a punch, and people are saying, whatever, he throws a punch, and they're thinking, okay, what can I do to block this motion and then do a hit? The reality is, I don't give a rat's ass what that attack is. Every motion that he does, let's say he punches, is not, okay, how do I block this attack? When, he, when I see an attack come through, I don't, even see, I don't even care about the attack. All I care about is how do I position myself so I can be in the optimal situation to hit the center. That's exactly what I'm concentrating on at that particular time. So a lot of times you see people see, when they see the punch, they see a punch, they're thinking, okay, what can I do to block that? I don't care about the attack. As soon as I see movement from him, all, they, all I basically care about is my adjustment so I can be in the perfect position to attack his center. 
Whatever, whatever runs into my triangle runs into my triangle. That's all I care about. So I'm not thinking, okay, all of a sudden something happens, oh, hand block. Well, guess what? If I think in that terms with my triangle, he punches like that, and I'm thinking, hand block, look, there's no way I'm in the perfect position to actually hit him. But in reality, when I see him basically move in from this position, boom, I'm actually thinking, how do I adjust myself to make sure I hit his center? All right? So when you look at it in that terms, the triangle is here. No matter where he goes, as fast as he can go, he's always going to run into my triangle as long as I know how to aim it towards the center. All right? And I'm not concerned as far as what the attack is. I want him to come into my house. If he's out here, I'm not going to chase that house here. See, I'm not thinking, oh my god, I'm going to deal with this. No. I want that to come into my house area because I'm not thinking he punches out here and I'm going to go boom, block this point here. All right? If you're thinking that, you're already a step behind. You're thinking, how do I block him, not how do I hit him? All right, so anyway, hopefully that gives you a little idea as far as um, what to focus on as far as holding the triangle, making sure it really works, and uh, the proper way to hold your guard hand. Don't have one hand extended out. You basically render it useless. Okay.